Hyderabad based Zen Technologies has been granted a patent for its T90 containerized crew gunnery simulator. Hyderabad based Radon Systems has entered into a strategic partnership with Munitions India Limited for development of munitions with various kinds of warheads for the barrel launched Archuk loitering munition. Israel Aerospace Industries has inaugurated an advanced radar MRO facility in Hyderabad that will maintain and support both current and future radar systems. The Andhra Pradesh government has allocated 1,000 acre of land to Kalyani Strategic Systems for establishing a defense energetics facility that will include an ammunition filling complex and a gun propellant complex. Astra Defense has signed an MOU with Munitions India Limited to jointly develop counter UAV ammunition for hard kill counter UAV systems. In a major development, India and UK have signed a statement of intent for the co-design co-creation and co-production of electric propulsion systems for future ships of Indian Navy. Navantia officials have said that the shipyard is willing to hand over complete transfer of technology of its best AIP system to India. Army's Northern Command has integrated six Airbus H-125 civilian helicopters of the Himalayan Hilly Services into its logistics efforts. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has commissioned a new state-of-the-art test bed for undertaking full power trials of marine engines. Indian Su-30 fighter jets have arrived in Egypt to take part in the tactical leadership program, which is a unique exercise with aircraft being deployed in large force engagement scenarios. Hindustan Shipyard hosted a high-profile delegation from Japan's Toshiba's battery division, to explore cutting-edge energy storage solutions tailored for the maritime sector. The Indian Air Force's long-awaited MRFA tender is facing an additional challenge, as local production costs are projected to exceed direct procurement prices by $30 million per jet. The increased costs are associated with establishing local production lines, building specialized infrastructure with strict standards and high precision, and training a domestic workforce that will push the final price per unit well above what a direct purchase would cost. Sweden's Saab Group has presented a compelling proposal to the Indian Air Force under its MRFA tender, offering its Gripen E fighter jet with a comprehensive Make in India production strategy, and the expertise to support the production line of India's AMCA stealth fighter program, making it both cost-effective and efficient. Saab's support could help India bridge technology gaps, especially in areas like advanced materials avionics and digital production workflows. Navantia officials have said that Navantia is considering India as a second manufacturing base for its submarines to cater to possible Asian clients, as Indonesia and Vietnam wants to procure 1,500 ton displacement submarines from the company. Navantia is willing to hand over complete transfer of technology of its next generation AIP system to India, and has offered exactly the same submarine that the Spanish Navy had ordered. Officials have said that while the FRCV program aims to develop a next-generation main battle tank, the program is also exploring the potential for autonomous unmanned main battle tanks that are envisioned to operate autonomously, using direct satellite links for real-time battlefield data exchange, robust communication networks, and advanced firepower capabilities to transform combat operations. Today's top 3 comments Oh, Mark, dropped it.